I'm Juwan Jones with Open Mic, and we are here today. We're super excited to be here speaking with one of the attendees of the East Point Peachtree International Film Festival. Now, this beautiful actress has more than 50 credits to her name. She's an author of a children's book, and she runs her own nonprofit foundation. We are speaking about Miss Erica Hubbard. Hi, Miss Erica. Hi, 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 hi. Thanks for having me on your show. Oh, we're so happy and so privileged. Mm -hmm. And you're an honorary doctor? What? Yeah. Congratulations with that? Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited that Harvard Christian University uh, selected for the honorary doctorate. <laughs> and um, it's that, to me, that recognition is one of the highest recognitions you can get in education. So I'm just honored. I'm really honored. And so shout out to Harvest Christian University. Well, we're going to jump right in um, with your film that's going to be at the film festival. And it is Black Cats, White Mice. Now, I'm really wanting to know what drew you. I mean, because you have so many credits to your name. What drew you to do this particular film? Um, Black Cats is a film that I was drawn to do because subject matter. Um, it talks heavy about um, the economy. It talks about social justice issues. It talks about the political climate. So it's like a roller coaster ride on different topics that need to be addressed. Uh, so it was time for me to shift gears. You know, last year I did a holiday film and shift gears and do a drama, Black Cats, uh, because a lot of things need to be addressed and we address them in the movie. So I think the audience is gonna be very pleased um, on the topics that we address um, as far as politics, as far as just um, social justice issues and stuff like that. Stuff that's really important that matters that we need to you know, have conversations about so we can change the narrative. And I find it so important that actors, especially black actors and black actresses, take this stand to really represent what needs to be spoken about today. So thank you so much for that. And I can't wait to see it. I haven't seen it yet. So I'll be <laughs> one of those people in the audience like, ah, so excited to see it all. I cannot wait. But let me ask you, because like, like I said earlier, you have so many credits to your name. You started out and, you know, a few years back. What thank is... You. I guess you could say, what is the helpful information you wish you would have gotten when you first started as to where you are now that maybe you can help other young black aspiring actresses and actors? Uh, the helpful information that I wish I would have gotten when I first started uh, uh, was um, just surround yourself with people that believe in you. Um, Cause I was surrounded by a lot of people say, we'll see what you do and then we'll kind of applaud you no never and and even into this day i'm around people that believe in me so much it helps fuel me to success because you're only as good as the company you keep so if you have somebody in there like a doubter or a naysayer and they're like well you may that can that can ruin your energy i need people around me that propels me that empowers me that motivates me that inspires me and um that right there, that that's like the secret sauce to success to me is be around people who motivate you to keep going and they encourage you and just people who are edifiers. <laughs> I love people who edify. I love that. I absolutely love it. Well, let me ask you this just with that kind of piggybacking off of inspiring people. You have a nonprofit foundation. Tell us about your nonprofit. Sure. Um, the nonprofit foundation that I formed is called the Erica Hubbard Foundation. And I formed it for at-risk youth in communities that need help, financial help, help, help. <laughs> we talk about financial health, <laughs> financial health, financial help. And also they need um, motivation and, 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 and to be uh, mentored because a lot of people are coming from communities that are starving um, and they need some kind of um, help to help with the mental wellness because outside and sometimes you get, you know, discouraged by the environment you grew up in. So me growing up on the South side of Chicago, I think that's what helped me was me mentors. We need mentors because sometimes you know, our, our environment is not pleasing and you need people to say, you know what, you can get out of this. 
if you believe and then give them the resources too whether they're trying to um have tutors or if they they uh, need financial uh help with scholarships which we do for the air Couple foundation uh to to help with their their wellness um and i think you know you're 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 as good as your village and so the Erica Hubbard Foundation, when people come and they seek us and we mentor them, the kids have the scholarships, you know, they have the encouragement, the motivation, and that helps them, you know, along their way. I love that. And I love when you talk about the village, because I, I when I grew up and even in raising my own children, I was constantly saying, it's a village. It takes a village to raise these kids. And, you know, so I, I love that. And you've also written a children's book. Tell me about this. Yes, I wrote uh, two children's books. I'm happy to say that um, I have children. I'm a mom. So <laughs> I kind of know like what the kids like because they're always, I need this. I want this. So I'm just not the person that's just, oh, I wrote children's books. And I don't know what the audience wants. I have the audience. So it's a book filled with fun activities that kids can do besides just being on their phones and being on video games. And so when the kids read the book, it's just like, oh, I didn't think about this activity. You know, whether it's gardening or building a, a, um, a playhouse or um, doing recycling and making sure that, you know, the community's clean or a uh, together. So it's like page after page after page of activities they can do in two books of stuff that, um, helps with socialization skills, which I think is so important. I'm a, I am personally a, a, a extrovert. <laughs> so, so I'm big on socializing and networking. And um, I think kids, when they, when they uh, look for friendships and stuff like that, and they have different activities that they can do, um, it just helps. It helps with things instead of just being like their phones and stuff like that, because it's just it just it gives them another outlet to have fun well let's just bounce back real quick to the festival now is this your first time being in this particular festival being a part of the east point festival uh, this is my first time being involved with this festival with a drama because you know i go back and forth mm -hmm. i do the comedy and the drama i just don't know which one i want to do i love them both but um people saw my uh work with um some of the uh festival um the people who f uh, formed the festival with a christmas film called he who find it and it did really really well last year if anybody missed it go watch it this year because it's a good holiday feel film it's a, it's, a, it's a, it gives you that holiday feel and it's just a feel good film so but this is my first time with this genre in this film festival epiff so get your tickets um you're not going to want to miss it and people who have seen the work because they've screened it um just as a test run um and people were like <gasps> Oh my gosh, Erica. Oh my gosh. Like literally casting called me and was like, wow. Wow. So because I think totally different. Let me just uh shout out what kind of character I play real quick. I play the a mayor. Um, and she is um stern, assertive, mm -hmm. you know. So, you mm -hmm. know, but I know people see me as the bubbly, the bubbly person in a lot of movies. This one right here is a stretch for me. They, the the shout out to Mark Harris, the director. Mark Harris, uh, he gave me the opportunity to present myself and my my work in a different way and to show my versatility. So I appreciate that, and I appreciate um, the world being in the world premiere at EPIFF. You know, that cats. Now I've heard it's like a thriller. You know, so I'm like, okay, thrillers usually kind of talk about society. So I'm I'm really interested in seeing you know, what's going to happen in film. Like I said, I haven't seen it yet, of course. So I'm going to be sitting right there in the audience going, oh, I love it. I love it. Can I, can I just say this? Okay, say. There is a moment where a gun is being held to my head. And that moment to me was, whew, it was, um, I'm not going to say what happens if she looks. She doesn't live, but that moment there is just like your heart. My heart was racing. My heart was beating fast, and it's just like a woo. But the movie is, I the writing is so good that um, I was just I'm happy to be a part of Black Cats White Mice. Hi, my name is Erica Hubbard, and you are watching Open Mic. It's a really nice day.